North America is said to be home to a mysterious creature. For decades, residents have been encountering a large cryptid that they can't explain. Due to these sightings and encounters, it's caused researchers to carry out their own investigations. However, very little evidence has been presented which proves they're 100% real. This creature goes by the name of the Dogman. Those who have encountered the creature have described it as looking like a strange werewolf-like creature and seems to possess supernatural strength and abilities. Residents who have come forward of their encounters have often compared the creature to a more dog-like Sasquatch, whereas others believe it to be more of a werewolf-like beast and at the centre of Skinwalker legends. Interestingly, for the last 60 years there have been many reports of these creatures, and as with most of these tales, the majority of the stories follow a similar theme. Researchers have managed to pinpoint the first Dogman sighting to 1887. This was said to have occurred in Wexford County. The story goes that two lumberjacks were having a conversation when one of them spotted something mysterious. He described it as having a man's body and a dog's head. When they noticed it, they quickly left the scene, not wanting to stay and risk getting hurt by the large creature. One thing that cryptid researchers have said is that it's hard to track down a genuine photograph of the dogman, but did say that every so often they do turn up on forums and in groups. The majority of people that present these images are unsure of what they captured, and turn to people who study this subject in the hopes of getting an answer. This photograph was recently shared to various groups on Facebook, asking for people's opinion on what they thought it showed. Those who saw the image said it's one of the best to come out in recent years, with many eyewitnesses saying this is what they saw during their encounter. Although the majority of images that get shared of cryptids are blurry, this one is actually pretty clear. We're able to see what looks like a large creature lying down. It has a large build and what appears to be large claws. The creature also has a long snout, which is in line with what many eyewitnesses describe when talking about their encounters. One person said the following, This is by far one of the best and clearest images we have of a dogman. One of the things that we've had trouble with in the past is getting hold of clear images. This one is certainly one of the best we have in terms of quality. You can clearly see a creature that resembles a dogman. I had an encounter with a dogman back in 1999, and when I saw this image it immediately took me back to my encounter. My sighting happened in Nevada while I was driving home. As I was driving through Mineral County I could see something off to the left. As I drove around a hundred meters towards it, I could see this thing looked like a large humanoid. It was at least seven feet in height, and was completely covered in hair. This thing also had a large snout. Ever since this encounter, I've been researching this topic in the hopes of getting some answers for what I saw, and one conclusion I've come to is that I'm not the only one this has happened to. Others have also encountered this creature, there's definitely something that lives among us, and it's definitely not human. End quote. Others went on to say the claws are terrifying, and that whatever this thing is, it doesn't match any animal we know of. However, skeptics said this creature could be a bear, but others said the snout is too long for it to be a bear. One of the problems with this image, though, is tracking down who originally took it. I had a woman email me saying that she knew the person who took the photograph, and that it actually came from a trial camera. However, when I pushed her for further details, the email stopped. Another person on the Facebook group noted that the photograph had been taken by a hunter, but once again couldn't reveal any more details. That's one of the main problems with these types of photographs. It seems near impossible to track down who originally took the photograph, and this usually comes down to the fact that the person doesn't want to talk about what they saw. Most of the time when someone captures images like these, they're not expecting to see anything, and don't like talking about these types of subjects. 
The majority of people who go on record and talk about cryptids and things like UFOs are usually judged. So it's understandable why people are hesitant to come forward and talk about what they captured. Another interesting story was shared by a 13 year old girl who believes she encountered the dogman in Michigan. Courtney said that at the time she was living in Reed City when the encounter happened. One winter she decided to sneak out for a cigarette behind her family's house, but says that she wished she didn't as her life has never been the same. She said that while outside she noticed a glint of light that was coming from an old barn. As she approached the barn she started to look around, and she said she started to feel uneasy, noting that she felt that she wasn't alone. As she followed the light it went towards the back of the barn, and as she turned around she said there was a six foot tall dog like creature just standing there. She immediately froze in place. As this thing stepped into the light, she managed to get out of there and ran back into the house as quickly as she could. She broke down and said it took her several weeks to get over the incident. Interestingly, when asked about the incident, neighbours said they too saw something inside the barn. As of today, cryptid researchers have said there's only a few reported incidents a year that involve the dogman. Their research tells them that humans rarely come into contact with these creatures, with some even saying that these creatures sometimes get mixed up with Bigfoot, saying that on paper both these cryptids are similar in appearance. This woman was taking a hike through Phillips Park in Manchester, England. However, she wasn't expecting to see this mysterious creature in a nearby tree. The woman said her friend managed to quickly snap a photograph of the animal and post photographs to social media, asking friends and followers what they thought it might be. One person suggested that it might be a monkey, but as others quickly pointed out there's no monkey population in Manchester. Others who live close to the region said they've never seen anything that looks like that, and that there's limited wildlife in this area so there's not much it could be. One person said they were going to take a walk down to the park to see if they could find it, but said that when they arrived there was no sign of it. Others said that one thing they're sure of is that whatever this thing is, it's not a human. The anatomy isn't the same as a human, and the torso is really small. Locals in the region have said there's a nearby graveyard, and that they've heard people say this region is haunted. Others carried on from this and said that it looks like a spirit. The photographs got shared to a paranormal group and some said it looks similar to the churro a paranormal entity that's commonly reported in India. It's prominent in India, Bangladesh and Pakistan, and is a demonic evil force that takes the form of a woman. It's called a churro. It's described as the ghost of an impurified living thing, and it's also known as the tree spirit, as it tends to latch on the trees in the jungles of Asia. She allegedly takes the form of a beautiful woman, luring men she wants revenge on into the woods only to take their life, or to take their vitality. Churros are thought to come from women who have experienced an unnatural loss in life. The true form of the churro is a woman with a disfigured appearance. Depending on the country from which the legend originates, churros have black tongues, no mouth at all, a face that resembles a pig claw-like hands and fangs. This is far from the stunning appearance of a young woman dressed all in whites that the churro allegedly shapeshifts into. According to Asian folklore, one can prevent the creation of a churro by either preventing its creation by treating a woman well during pregnancy, or by performing a series of rituals upon the body once they've passed away. Some have said that because of the nearby graveyard what people are seeing could be an apparition saying that these strange looking creatures have been captured before, and it's usually always near a place that's said to be haunted. One person said the following, I saw this photograph in a paranormal group, and although I don't live near this area, I have seen something similar here in India. I live close to Doe Hill in India, and I'm sure that the surrounding forests are haunted. It's not uncommon to see fast moving apparitions and screams during the night, 
I've only visited the forest at night on a handful of occasions, and every time I normally see something that I would say was connected to the paranormal. On one occasion I visited the forest with one of my friends, as he said he wanted to go ghost hunting. After around 90 minutes we started to see strange shapes sipping through the trees, something that I'd seen before. I can only describe these shapes as looking like black masses, and that it's really hard for your eyes to focus on them. We continued deeper into the forest, and this was when we saw a strange humanoid in one of the trees. This thing looked like a human, but as we approached we could tell this was something completely different. Whatever it was had red eyes and was dressed in old clothing. The photograph that was shared to the group reminded me of this encounter, as the two looked similar. Since going into the forest with my friend and encountering what we did, I've never been back during the night. As I said, I am certain that something terrible happened in the forest, and that whatever this was caused it to be the way it is. Dark things live in that forest, and I don't plan on going back anytime soon. End quote. The Doe Hill Forest is plagued by a number of strange supernatural sightings and disappearances. Many locals and tourists have reported seeing children running through the forest at night, appearing to be deformed or startling in their appearance. However, these claims have only become more and more popular, as many skeptics flock to the sites with the hopes of dismissing these claims, only to capture a tremendous amount of images and footage of school children running through the forest at night. Oddly enough, the Victoria Boys' School located in that region and established in the 1800s, is rumoured to be a hotspot of paranormal activity from the forest. There are no faculty members that will work late at the school throughout the night, and janitors and other employees that are forced to work through the night tend to have a high rate of turnover and end up quitting their job. Some of these individuals have reported that during their shifts they will see shadows flickering across the walls, and that when they go in for a closer look they vanish before their eyes. Other workers reported that while cleaning the floors they could hear noises coming from another part of the building. A janitor, knowing he was alone, decided to investigate, thinking that perhaps some students had sneaked into the building. As the man approached the noises, he could tell they were those of children, and described them as high-pitched laughs. He said that at the time he felt uneasy as there shouldn't have been any children in the building. As the noises got louder, he knew he was on the right path, and then suddenly he heard the distinctive sound of a ball bouncing on the ground. This sound was coming from behind him. As he turned around, he couldn't see anything as the halls were covered in dark shadows. After staring into the darkness for what seemed like several minutes, a ball slowly started to roll out from the shadows, until it eventually stopped at his feet. The worker described that he'd been frozen in place during this experience, and that he'd never experienced anything like this before. So what do you make of this strange photograph captured in Manchester, England? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.